It's been interesting, particularly being a beat retreat, because you, I feel like it gives you a pretty good lens on what the zeitgeist is over the next 12 months. And, and we've heard a lot about convergence over the last couple of years. Uh, it's taken a few different shapes. It started with data. I think we're all fatiguing on data and measurement a little bit. Uh, it's now, you start to see a bit of a shift towards convergence of addressable linear and streaming. And I think the one missing link is really how we get workflow automation right. And, and there, there started to become some talk of that this mm. time. And, and I do expect that's going to continue to accelerate. It's something that we've been focused on for four years, so uh, near and dear to our hearts. But, uh, you know, getting workflow automation right, I think, is, is critical for uh, the future of kind of interoperable TV buying. And Are there any uh, key issues with trying to get it right or any key hurdles that people uh, need God, to more than I God, more than I could probably uh, oh. list in this area. It, it is, um, it's tremendously complicated from an integration and technology standpoint. Interesting. Um, so, to get uh, to get your uh, you know your um, content in a position, if you're a, if you're a content owner like a programmer or a distributor, um, you have content that's sitting in in various different places. Uh, the technology that sits behind the TV to enable that for automated workflows is disparate and and disconnected. Mm. Uh, so, getting all that right and making those connections work and talk to each other and uh, is, is a tremendously difficult technical task. And looking at what uh, the consumer behavior uh, with video consumption, you know, this year I think for the first time we saw Netflix actually uh, lose subscribers. So you're seeing the shift from subscription video on demand like Netflix to advertising video on demand. Um, what, and how does, what, what, did this, what does this shift mean for you? Uh, you know, what I think it means for the industry in general is that we, we just continue to have to strive to get better uh, as an industry and particularly as technology players in the industry. Um, you know, it's no surprise that AVOD's on, on an upswing because people are getting subscription fatigue. You could have you predicted that when you saw the acceleration of cord cutting a couple of years ago, which is starting to level off now. Um, so no surprise that we are where we are. Content's expensive and you need a way to fund it. And, uh, you know, so w we're excited about the trend forward, but I think it pushes us all, particularly on the technology side, to be better. Um, there are things that just have to be done well if we want to curate a high quality TV experience for the programmers and distributors that are bringing that content to consumers. And that means you have to be able to do things that TV has historically done well in a digital environment, like competitive separation, deduplication. Brands are going to want to, brands are not going to want, they're going to demand those experiences uh, over time. And, you know, I think it's, it's okay to launch a service. Netflix is doing it now, Apple will do it shortly. It's okay to launch a service and have some hiccups along the way. But you pick your head up a year from now, you better have a pristine experience that feels like television. Uh, and I think, again, it, it's going to challenge all of us on the technology side to make sure that we're doing our best work. And before I ask you uh, about what things look like for uh, next year, 2023, uh, could you just tell us a bit more about Beachfront and some of the current stuff that you're working on? Yeah, our, our focus for the last four years hasn't changed. We, um, we've focused on the interoperable uh, selling of TV inventory. Our primary customers are content owners, so programmers, distributors, and uh, what we've been working on is automating those workflows. We, um, we, well, when we looked at, at kind of reimagining our business about four years ago, five years ago, uh, what we really looked at were the problems that we thought were going to plague TV over the next decade. And one of one of the things that we and, and this wasn't common thinking. Uh, but one of the notions that we didn't subscribe to was that traditional TV was going away. And, uh, you know, so we, we started that hard work of, of building an interoperable ad server. Uh, it is rooted in automation. I like using the word automation and not programmatic because uh, programmatic scares some folks in the TV industry. It shouldn't, uh, but it does. But workflow automation is critical. 
And finally, uh, looking ahead, is there anything you expect to see in the next six to 12 months or anything you'd like to see uh, in the industry? Or? You know, if I just extrapolate the trend from beat out, uh, and I actually think it's been fairly accurate for a while. Um, you have a lot of thought leaders sitting in a room like this uh, twice a year, and um, it tends to shape the next six months of, of discussion. And uh, as I said earlier, the discussion was, you know, a couple of years ago around data and interoperable data and measurement. And we're starting to see more of a shift towards automation. And I think what uh, people are starting to realize right now is, one, I need to bring, I need my, my there needs to be some, uh, a healthy symbiosis uh, here for my linear and and traditional and streaming TV. My workflows that I currently use are not uh, set up to handle that, and I think that's going to be a large focus as streaming accelerates and 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 the need for interoperability becomes more apparent. So to me, it's it's that trend. It's just that continued trend of evolving how we make buying and selling a television more efficient easier.